President Umnam Gogwa has reprimanded immature opposition figures who, in flagrant violation of democratic norms, have promised to cause havoc if they lose elections. The opposition's weird obsession with the West was also ridiculed by the president, who noted that it is a known fact that only Zimbabweans are capable of developing their nation with the riches that God has given them. President Umnam Gogwa urged opposition-favored foreign countries against meddling in domestic matters while addressing the annual service for Johan V of Africa International Church in Buma. Another man, I mean, a toddler, stated there would be pandemonium if he lost the election yesterday Thursday. If you didn't breastfeed long enough, call your mother again if she's still around. Go back and get your school fees if you don't know democracy, the president reportedly remarked in apparent deed at CCC leader Nelson Chamisa, who has won turmoil if he loses the election. It is true that there are no young monkeys who mix with the elders among monkeys. Let the insane play with the insane, and the sensible play with the sane. We disapprove of anyone who incites unrest. Anarchy, or violence in our nation, he declared. In order for Zimbabweans to build their country together in love, unity, and harmony, the president argued that the nation should keep its peace. While aberrant individuals would show up preaching violence, he warned, Zimbabweans should ignore them. As of right now, elections are scheduled for this coming Tuesday, the 23rd. The Zimbabwean people are the ones who proposed holding elections on that day. They shouldn't get involved. Those who wish to watch should do so in peace and just for the purpose of observation while we exercise our democratic rights. I want to thank the people of Zimbabwe because, up until now, it has been a peaceful, cooperative nation, he remarked. The president praised Zimbabwe as a champion of democracy and declared that no country should dare attempt to teach it the principles of democracy. There are certain individuals who attempt to teach us democracy although they may be inebriated. No one will teach us democracy because we fought for it ourselves. We fought for independence and freedom. We established this democracy, and we will maintain it, no one will instruct us. Educate yourself in the democratic environments of your own countries. We'll educate ourselves on democracy. He declared. The president declared that Zimbabwe will continue to be a friendly nation that has no enemies. My government won't abandon anyone. Because of this, our leadership philosophy at the local level is we leave no one and no area behind. Globally, we declare that we are a friend to everyone and an adversary to no one, so anyone chooses to be our enemy is doing so of their own free will. Because we are Christians. Zimbabweans choose to be friends to everyone, he remarked. The president criticized young drug and substance misuse, stating that it should be eradicated right away since it threatens the future of the nation. Nowadays, substance usage has turned our youngsters into dangers, yet throughout history, heritage has been passed along from one generation to the next. We ought to leave the planet better than we found it. As a result, we are establishing our nation to ensure the safety of our cultural legacy. We cannot trust drug users with it because they will be mostly unconscious if they use drugs. We want children to work hard, respect their parents, instructors, and their country, as well as uphold and preserve our legacy, he said. President Umnam Gogwa emphasized that the record number of projects had been completed statewide as proof that Zimbabwe will be created by its citizens during the Second Republic. 